What's up, everybody? It's the homie Truth Teller, the street reporter. And a lot of people been asking me about the whole FBG, O-Block case and shit like that. You know, I hear the rumors about the bloggers and all kind of shit. And I just spoke on that plenty of times. A lot of people wanted me to bring it to the board. I really didn't think I had to because it's like everybody's dropping 50 videos a day on this. And, you know, but it is a few things I want you guys to kind of look at and maybe understand, you know. Uh, you know, they got the five old block members who the police is alleging had something to do with this. But when you look into this, did you notice that everybody they arrested kind of hit like a little bit of rap street fame and shit like that? You know, I get to see murders and shit like that, but every one of them had a name brand and shit like that. You could tell that, you know, this wasn't really a lot of research. You could tell this was like given to the feds because they locked up all the rap guys. And then they pulled up on like the boss tops, the DQs, anybody that had clout. You can tell that this was like maybe a plan, you know. That's why I say it kind of sound like maybe somebody was talking. And I'm not sure if it was one of those guys who were talking. Maybe it was somebody who got arrested before and felt like it was a get out of jail free card. You know what I'm saying? But you notice they was very specific on who they arrested and shit like that. Uh, another thing uh, that kind of... Hit me right up. Um, you know, Muwap, one of the biggest rappers that's coming out of Chicago on the underground market. Dirt got a liking to him. King Von had a lot of love for this guy. Now, out of all the people who was arrested, you know, that's kind of charged with that, King Von had a lot of love for Muwap. So I'm pretty sure Muwap going to be taken care of. I'm pretty sure Dirt going to help Muwap out. You ask me. You know, he's certified. I'm pretty sure people love him. Now, the rest don't know. They might be on their own. And I ain't saying it like that. But, you know, I'm just being honest. I'm not sure if Dirk's going to hold everybody down. I'm not sure if he even want to link himself to this. But I think he's going to hold Muwap down, you know. Um, but I just noticed that, you know. Uh, I noticed that. This was all over the internet, you know what I'm saying? All this whole thing as far as, when I say internet is, as far as, you know, they were dissing each other. They were dissing each other. And I want you guys to understand this, because I don't think people understand this. You know, the police see that shit. I mean, just think about it. It was a lot of diss records, dissing dead people, smoking the dead ops, you know, the killings, all these rappers dying. This shit wasn't going to just go on forever now. Somebody was going to eventually try to do something. And I'm not saying it was these guys. Remember, everybody is innocent until proven guilty. You feel me? But I'm going to still hold my free. Um, but when you look at this, another thing that I noticed in this shit is that um, they called them the O-Block gang okay not bd you feel me they did not not bd not gd okay but O block gang you know that's normally when they come down with the rico charges the conspiracies the indictments they build up the propaganda and i think this is the beginning of it you know creating this making it seem like this is a hit squad you know, and you got to figure that these guys are in the interrogation room. You got to figure they being asked about other murders and other kind of shit that's happening. We hearing Brick name being brought up. We hearing Kobe name getting brought up. We don't know if it's just speculation or anything like that. But you got to figure there's some questions being asked. You know what I'm saying? Um, if I was any other rap crews and like neighborhoods and shit like that, just think about it. When you hear the Rico charge... It'd be a lot of information involved in that, you know. I wouldn't be surprised if other crews started getting hit that's involved in, like, the murder and the killings and shit like that. You know, to be honest with you, because once one crew get knocked down, it'd be a lot of this, to be honest with you. But I just found that crazy that, um, you know, that's how they kind of doing it. Then they hit them with the racketeering charges, which I'm going to just say they hit them with the racketeering charges. I thought that was crazy because normally... This the charge they hit with, like, mobsters and shit like that. I didn't understand why they would want to hit O-Block with that kind of charge. Uh, you notice at first the mayor, Lori Lightfoot, kind of portrayed Duck as a gang member. You notice that? A gang member. When the feds came through with the indictment, they labeled him as a Chicago rapper, Duck, okay? So, as you can see it, um, it's already... 
doing it. That's how the feds come through when they get to working and shit like that. Because it was a lot of people wanted this case done, you know. It happened in a nice neighborhood. It happened in a nice hood. You know, very upscale. The FBI was involved in this. You know, people care about their communities. Like I said in all them other blogs, because you don't go to your meetings, your town hall meetings, your council meetings, your neighborhood watch meetings. Don't mean them other people don't go to this shit. Them people want to know what happened in their community when them neighborhoods prestigious like that, you know. And then another thing I don't think you guys understand is they got, like, business owners, you know, investors. You know, all kind of people who want to bring businesses downtown and, you know, shit like that. And they ain't finna do that until they find out what the fuck happened with that murder. They want to know there ain't nobody crazy and the killings in the neighborhood turned to bed. They want to know that was just some random shit that won't happen all the time, you know. So, it was a lot of things that kind of struck into this shit right here that just made this case a top priority if you... Um, in my opinion, you know, but like I say, these guys are going to get their time in court. Um, when you look at the indictment, though, to be honest with you, it don't seem to uh, stop down, you know, but it eventually can get with that. Because like I said, um, I'm going to tell you things that I find crazy, though, you know, I don't really hear nothing like the other side of uh, other people involved in this indictment. All I really hear is like the old block shit, you know. I'm pretty sure it's a lot of information coming out about other people who not involved with old block. So we're going to be following this, man, because I think this is going to get crazy. Um, for some strange reason, man, I think this is going to go bigger than what we even believe is going to happen, in my opinion. Or maybe it don't, you know. Uh, it is what it is, man. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. It's the home of Truth Teller the Street Reporter. Blah, blah.